What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Boom Creative Company YouTube channel, a place where we help break down Squarespace in an easy and simple way for you to manage it, and a little bit of strategy to help level up your site as well. In today's video, I wanna talk about payment methods in e-commerce, how to quickly set it up, how to add your payment method for donations if you're maybe a nonprofit or you're accepting donations and how to be compliant there too, but just how to add you know, Stripe, PayPal, any payment method into your site. So if you're new here, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button if you loved this video. I wanna make sure that more people like you are getting help with their sites. And then if you have been here before, thank you so much for being here and all the feedback you've been providing. We've been super hard at work producing a ton of more videos based on your comments. So thank you again. I'm Elizabeth Muller, the founder of Bloom Creative Company, and let's go walk through setting up payment methods. We are going to start here on the Bloom Creative Company website just to give you a little look at an established site and what it looks like to add those commerce features. So there are three different types of payment methods that you can integrate into your shop. If you have any other payment method that is not one of these three, it is a lot more difficult to set up your payments. Uh, you will need some custom code and you'll likely need help from a developer. And when you do have those custom code pieces in, if you have an issue, Squarespace support will not help you. So I just wanna put that out there just in case you are in a different country and these three don't work for you or you have a different preferred method, you are kind of on your own if you put any code or CSS into your site, it's possible. But if I were you, I recommend using either Stripe, PayPal, or Square. So when we head over to Commerce, and we come down here to payments, this is where you are going to connect those three methods. So Stripe and PayPal are both the most straightforward when it comes to setting up an account with Stripe. Now mine is managed right now, but it's a very simple process. There would be this button to connect and you would hit connect and a new window would pop up here and it would just ask for your business information, your EIN, your business information, your accounting, routing, and it will set up a profile or an account rather with, with Stripe right there on the spot and it'll connect everything right away. You don't have to go to Stripe in your web browser and set up an account there. If you have, if you do that, that's fine. You will have now an existing account and you'll just log in, but it, they make it really easy for you as they just have a pop-up, you fill out the information, put it in and you're ready to go. So. That is Stripe. PayPal, same thing. You have to have an account that you can log in from. When you hit connect, it'll pop up that new window and you can either create one with them or you can log in. So sign up or log in. So you'll start with your email address, country. It'll either pull up your account or it'll ask you to make a new one. So these are the two most basic payment methods. I know a lot of people start off with PayPal because it's super easy and super easy to integrate and just easy to take payments. I know that's how I started. I know that's how a lot of people start with their websites to take payment. Now, when we talk about Square, which is the third option, it's a little more robust because you are able to have a POS system in person with you through Square and you're able to take online web-based payments. But before I get into Square, I just have to say Square and Squarespace are two entirely different companies and entities. So it's a very common question about Square because people with, with the similar name, people often think that it's the same company. They are not. Squarespace is a web design platform that allows you to do commerce to integrate with Square. And Square is a payment collection with card readers. Think about, I haven't seen one of these in a really long time, but the little Square chips that went in the top of a phone and you can swipe your card through. So a POS system like that. So you can create a Square account. You can integrate it and take payments on your shop online here. And you can integrate it into your POS system in your hand. So with all three, I just wanna say with all three, you're able to make discounts. You can add discount codes from inside of your site which we covered on our last video, how to create discount codes and the best ways to leverage that. We talked a little bit about strategy with abandoned cart. So if you missed that one, go back and check it out because that'll really help you level up in your, your site. And you can offer gift cards with all three as well to take on your site. 
But I just want to go a little bit deeper into Square because Square gives you more functionality when it comes to being a brick and mortar. So if you're a coffee shop, you're taking orders online in your shop and you're taking orders in person at one or two or three locations, you can set up your Square account to reflect your Squarespace commerce. Now, in order to use all three, I feel like I need to back up and preface this, you have to have a commerce basic plan or advanced plan. So when we go back into our settings, we go to billing and account, billing here. This is where you're going to upgrade or downgrade your plan. So these are the different plan types. These two are the only two that are going to allow you to make your shop go live and to collect payments. And they have different attributes to them when it comes to transaction fees. I mean, depending on the volume, this could be really like a game changer for you between the business and the commerce here. But these are the two plans that you will need in order to connect with your commerce shop. So back to Square, you can integrate a POS, which I think I will do a video on on the next time just because of how robust it is and the things that you can do in person. But I just want to give a little piece, a couple tips of advice when it comes to Square and Squarespace, because again, they're two different companies. One's a card reader, Square. One's a website platform with a commerce feature where you can sell things. And you can, you can connect your Squarespace inventory on your Squarespace site with your Square card reader and your POS system in person, but it does not go the opposite way. If you have your shop set up in Square already, you're going to have to recreate it in Squarespace in order to integrate the two. And you have to have a Square account with account reader in order to take those payments in person as well. So your inventory is synced up. You're able to do all the wonderful things that the Squarespace shop allows you to do with discounts and gift cards. But you will have to download the Squarespace Commerce app. And I'll post notes to this, to this episode because there's so many different steps and so many different uh, just caveats between the, the three different methods. So take a look in the in the show notes and YouTube down below because I'll have a link here to, to a page that kind of writes this out so you can have it as reference because I know it can be really confusing and you want to make sure you have your site set up correctly. So you want to download the Squarespace Commerce app, which you have to have a Squarespace store and you have to have an account reader with Square. And that will sync up your inventory once it's set up on Squarespace first. And then again, you have to have either the Commerce Basic or Commerce Advanced. And the different types of payments that you can take, American Express, Discover, MasterCard, UnionPay, Visa, JCB. And you again, you can have multiple locations. So you have to have, again, let's go over this really quickly. You have to have a plan here. You have to have Squarespace account plan, Square account, and download the Squarespace Commerce app. And that will allow you to sync all of those up. So again, on the next video, I'll walk through that POS system and what that looks like and how to navigate that and being in person and all that good stuff because there is a setup process to that. But I just wanted to go over just those three methods of payment, what each one of them does, and how you're able to use them into your site. So Stripe, PayPal, Square. Stripe and PayPal are web-based. Square is web-based and with a POS system in person. And all three will make your shop happen and you'll be able to collect payments and be able to sell and make money and grow your business. I hope you all got a ton of value out of this video. If you did, please do me a favor and share this video, like it, subscribe, because that tells YouTube you are enjoying our content, you're getting a lot out of it, and it will be more visible for other people that are seeking this knowledge too. So thank you so much for being here. I'm Elizabeth, the founder of Bloom Creative Company, and we'll see you on the next video.